Uh, hello, this is uh, what I want uh, to try is to um, condition uh, my, uh, my electrolytic uh, capacitor. Um, this is actually the first uh, time I'm going to try this. This is the positive um, aluminium tube. Uh, negative plate is just a simple uh, piece of uh, PCB I had, uh, I had uh, lying around. Um, I'm going to condition the, uh, um, the capacitor with a, a simple uh, uh, battery charger and uh, I'm going to measure the current. So there we are again. Uh, now the um, capacitor or fuel, um, fuel cell is completely filled with water with uh, some soda underneath. Uh, in the in the water, and now I'm going to switch on the power supply, and I'm going to see what happens. So it draws uh, about 80 milliamp at the moment, and that should become less if uh, a layer is formed. You can see there are bubbles, very few. Uh, most of them are on the negative plate. Let's, let's just see what happens. Uh, the ampere is still about uh, 0 0.8 amp. Oh, it's at uh, 80 milliamp, but it's in 10 amp scale, so it should be 0 0.8 amps, so 800 milliamps. Sorry. So it's uh, been running for about 15 minutes now. Um, I increased the amount of soda. And uh, just after uh, uh, I added soda, the amperage drawn was about 2 amps. And as you can see now, it's slowly decreasing. So that's what we want. Uh, now we're running for about uh, 3 quarters of an hour. Uh, the amperage is down to about uh, 280 milliamps. And if I switch the power supply back to 6 volts, then you'll see about... Uh, 100 milliamps, so it's about one third of the amperage drawn. So I took uh, the water out just to take a look how it uh, how it looks, and you can see it's yeah, it's a, there's a rough rough layer on it. Looks like uh, uh, um, calcium carbonate um, stuff, and it's it's very rough. Uh, but of course, we're still not down to uh, zero uh, amps, so. Uh, I'm going to put the weather back in and continue. That's been uh, running for about an hour and we're down to about 20, uh, sorry, 200 uh, milliamps. And I think I'm going to leave it on overnight. So uh, we're back. It's now uh, the next morning. And uh, the water has become clear. Almost no uh, bubbles anymore, just a little bit on the copper plate uh, amperage has gone down to about 20 milliamps which I don't think is good it should be lower if you want to have a proper insulation layer uh, as you can see there's a white uh, powder layer on the tube and it's not all over there are um, parts which are not covered uh, the inside of the tube is uh, almost clean. Another close-up of the tube. The outside is filled with some powder stuff. The inside is clear. So now I uh, grinded the uh, aluminum tube and put on the power again and it started at 2 amps and well, even within a minute, it's already down to uh, 150 milliamps. Very few bubbles. Well, a bit. Oh, it's on the other side of the can. Well, let's see what happens. So I uh, grinded it uh, and I had it. Um, in, the, uh, in the solution, uh, the amperage turned down to about 100 milliamp, and I removed it. You can see it's now more grayish. So I'm going to grind it again and see what happens. So 
So I grinded it again and I'll switch on the power and see what happens. You see it Empress goes down very very fast now. And I mistakenly had switched on the amp power uh, already so it started over two amps and then you can see it's already down to hundreds something like 160 milliamps. So I made a new uh, bath with uh, demineralized water. Uh, look at me, I love of course uh, car repair shop. So I'm gonna switch on the power. I've just put in a sheet of uh, aluminum foil and see what happens. As you see, the Emperor drops very, very fast now on one amp and now it's already down to about 100 milliamps uh, let's see inside so I'm gonna make another run with the uh, aluminum foil I filled it up a little bit more further I'm gonna switch it on now let's see it's going compared to drought going down very fast you can see the oh. Oh, where is it? Yeah. So there's bubbles on the copper plate and the foil as well. And the Empress is already down. So about 400 milliamps. Still running at 12 volts. So it's back to six. You see, it's already at six volts. There's already no current going anymore. So this is looking much better. Now this is very interesting. Um, as you can see, there's no connection whatsoever to the aluminum tube the uh, negative wire is also connected to nothing and still there's gas production on the aluminum tube um, what was also very interesting I accidentally uh, threw over my uh, solution so I made new I grinded the aluminum tube put in quite a bit of soda and when I put the, everything together I measured there was high voltage I, I, uh, on the aluminum tube on the water as well as on the um, uh, the, the, the copper plate uh, unfortunately I can't show this anymore because it's no longer there but there is gas production without any connection whatsoever to any voltage source I don't know if this is hydrogen oxygen or what it is but it's building. Ajax trained tijdens de winterstop in Portugal. Eigenlijk zou de selectie in januari naar Zuid-Afrika gaan, omdat Ajax. So uh, the high voltage uh, turned out to somehow come from the scope when I touched it here. I had a high voltage, so I removed the plug. Something's not quite right here, but anyway, uh, I now have the uh, charger again. It's drawing about uh, 70, 80 milliamps. Uh, it was much higher in the beginning, and it, uh, it drops quite, uh, quite fast. Uh, well, there's almost no gas production anymore. A little bit along the copper plate. 